Hey everyone, welcome to the video of the week. Today's video of the week is WWE pay-per-view for Monday Night Raw. No mercy predictions. So here we go. The first match on the card that we have here is the Intercontinental Championship match where The Miz will be defending against Jason Jordan. I'm going for The Miz, honestly. Um, personally, just my opinion. Um, I think The Miz has kind of been stepping up his game a lot lately. So I think that's why I'm going for him. Uh, not saying that Jason doesn't have the capability of being the Intercontinental Champion. It's just that I think that The Miz is going to hold it for a little bit longer. Before he might have to drop it due to Maurice being pregnant. And him having to go home possibly to spend some time with his wife. So that's what I think might happen, but anything can happen in the WWE. But yeah, I'm going for The Miz in this match. Moving on, we've got Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. Um, I'm going for Finn Balor. Uh, Finn won the last one, so it might happen that Bray wins this one. But who knows? I'm personally going for Finn, though. Then we've got the Cruiserweight Championship match between Neville and Enzo More. Me, personally, I'm going for Neville. Um, it's not that I don't dislike Enzo. I just don't think that he's doing very well in the Cruiserweight division, to be honest with you. Um... I think that he's been winning matches, but a lot of the matches he's been cheating to win or um, getting the slip through to get the victories. And so that's why I'm going for Neville. Moving on, we've got Seth and Dean, a.k.a. The Shield versus The Bar and Sheamus and Cesaro. I'm personally going for Seth and Dean. I think it's definitely time for them to move on having the championships and let Sheamus and Cesaro and the bar in their rear view mirror. Um, but again, anything could happen in the WWE, so who knows what might happen in this match. Moving on, we have the match that they've been talking about nonstop pretty much. John Cena versus Roman Reigns. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of either or. Um, and I know a lot of my family aren't really fans of either or. But some of my family are fan fans of John Cena. Um, and some of them are fans of Roman Reigns. So uh, I think I'll be impartial in this match and pretty much just call it down the line if I was the referee. Um, so I can't really give you my personal opinion who I want to win, but who I think, what I think might happen is I think for some reason they're going to have Roman Reigns win, kind of like a passing of the torch, and then Cena goes away for a little bit because I heard some rumors that Cena might be doing some more movies or whatever, so... I think that might happen. Moving on, we have the now fatal five way um, between Irma, Bailey, Alexa Bliss, Nia Jax, and Sasha Banks. Now, I wanted to clear up some things. I've heard some people, including myself, wondering why Bailey was added to the match, and she really didn't, in a sense, earn it. But if you remember correctly, um, I had to ask my cousin about this too. He explained it to me, but uh, she never really got her fair title match. I remember before she was out on injury, she was supposed to be taking on Alexa, um, but she got injured, so Sasha took over. So that's I guess in WWE's way of giving her the fair shot, which I kudos to her them for actually allowing her to get her shot. And being fair. Now who am I going for in this match? I honestly think it's definitely time for Nia to have the championship. 
but I have also heard some fans out there saying that in a way Emma could win and actually have her first championship as well. But me personally, I'm going for Nia. But anything can happen in this match because all five women are very talented and who knows who walks away with the women's championship. And moving on in our final match, probably the match that everybody's talking about is when the beast Brock Lesnar takes on the monster among men Braun Strowman for the universal title. I'm going for Braun Strowman. I think that WWE has been portraying Braun Strowman out to be an absolute monster and even taking down Brock Lesnar. Um, but they did kind of similar storylines with Samoa Joe and Brock Lesnar. So anything can happen. But I'm hoping that Braun wins the championship. That's my personal opinion. But yeah, that's about it for that's all the matches they have announced for No Mercy so far. Um, but before I end out this video of the week, I gotta give shout outs to Reyna and Erica Green or Erica Gilbert, whatever you prefer. Um, anyways, with that said, next Sunday's video of the week will be WWE No Mercy coverage video. Have a great day, peace. Thank you guys for watching.